This is the South Pacific Adventist News. Hello, I'm David Gibbons. The Australian Government have broken with tradition and awarded two Order of Australia medals to a Western Australian couple. John and Bev Lowe are Adventists and were surprised to be on the Australian Honours List announced on Australia Day on January 26. Bev has been awarded this highest honour for her 57 years of community work which she started at the age of 10. And today she runs a kitchen which feeds 800 homeless people every week. John has also received the medal for his community work over 30 years. He still runs the school breakfast project which has seen one million children fed just in the past 12 months. They have also fostered 12 children and they will receive their medals on April 4. It gives us accreditation with the government and that's why we accepted it because it's going to be useful for Manor. I got a letter, that, uh, not a letter, I got a telephone call this morning from a mining company because of our award uh, wanting to give us a donation. The Order of Australia medal was introduced back in 1976 and replaced the British knighthood honours. A former rock and roll star whose brother was a New York gang leader is travelling to South Australia next week to train pastors and church members on how to effectively win converts. Pastor Louis Torres, who was bass player for the rock and roll band Bill Haley and the Comets, accepted the invitation to come to Adelaide by the head of the Adventist churches in South Australia. The two major events that uh, Pastor Louis Torres will be involved in while he's in South Australia will be a training program each afternoon and each evening a major revival series for both public and church members. Since his conversion to Christianity, he has been a pastor, evangelist and church administrator. He is currently vice president of an evangelism training centre located near Portland, Oregon and has recently travelled to the Philippines, South Africa and Europe as a speaker, trainer and musician. The Adventist TV program It Is Written Oceana was launched on Australian Foxtel this week reaching 30% of Australian homes. The program will be broadcast on the Australian Christian Channel on Fridays, Saturdays and Mondays every week. But it will continue to be shown on the Seven Network nationally during 2008. Channel 7 executives are said to be pleased with the show's ratings during 2007 and are enthusiastic about giving additional support. A TV commercial in each episode points viewers to the new online Bible college. Online students are tracked by instructors based at Adventist Media's Discovery Centre. The first It Is Written Oceana convert was baptised in December in Australia. And in breaking news, over $426,000 Kiwi dollars was given in cash and pledges from donors attending the annual family camp a week ago in Christchurch, New Zealand. It is believed to be the largest camp offering ever collected by an Adventist congregation in a single day anywhere in the world. The funds will be used to run the largest Adventist evangelistic campaign ever held in Christchurch. Australian evangelist John Carter, who has been working in the US since the 1980s, will return to run the campaign in February 2009. Church leaders are pleased with the gifts that have been given, but say more is needed. They also need help from Adventists in Australia and across the world to come to New Zealand to help run the program. And uh, come and listen to uh, a person that has been one of the most profound and successful uh, public uh, evangelist within the Seventh-day Adventist Church. More information is available on the web. And in this week's colour record, youth at Walls End Adventist Church, New South Wales, fill scores of shoe boxes with presents for Operation Christmas Child. Church members celebrate 50 years since their church was dedicated in Sale, Victoria, a 93-year presence in the community. And there's a special report on how the 54 Adventist medical clinics in South Pacific developing countries need more urgent attention than their patients. That's the news for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm David Gibbons. Thank you.